Hey there, veteran gamers. Let's venture into the eerie realm of horror gaming today with a review of Creature Lab. As an avid horror enthusiast and a devoted gamer, I was eagerly anticipating the unique premise that Creature Lab brings to the table, being a mad scientist concocting horrifying monsters to unleash upon the world. The concept held the promise of a thrill ride unlike anything I've experienced before, but did it deliver? Let's delve into it. Creature Lab assigns you the role of a mad scientist, creating your own grotesque monsters by combining various chemicals and ingredients in a state-of-the-art lab. Whether it's sinister mutagens or macabre surgical methods, you have a wide array of tools to create the ultimate monstrosities. Once crafted, you get to unleash these abominations on the public, serving your own nefarious purposes, from gathering materials and battling law enforcement to simply causing widespread panic. The premise is undoubtedly enticing, especially for horror fans like myself. We seldom see games executing this kind of concept where you get to step into the shoes of a mad scientist, personally handling everything from potion mixing to mutant control, all in first person, offering an immersive experience. However, as promising as the concept sounds, the game falls short in execution. The initial thrill of creating monsters begins to wane when you realize the core gameplay lacks depth and variety, with tasks quickly devolving into a repetitive sequence of actions. What should be the game's main highlight unleashing your homemade terrors onto the world fails to deliver any substantial excitement. Once your crafted creatures are dispatched on a mission, the gameplay reduces to a lackluster set of menus indicating whether your monster has succeeded or not, accompanied by a handful of repetitive, reused cutscenes. The lack of engaging visual storytelling, coupled with an absence of player involvement in missions, robs the game of its potential thrill. The satisfaction of seeing your custom-made monsters wreak havoc is lost in a swarm of randomly generated numbers, leaving the player experience flat and unfulfilling. The game also poses a steep learning curve, throwing you into a fairly complex pattern discovery gameplay after a brief tutorial. While complexity can be appealing, Creature Lab doesn't quite strike the right balance between accessibility and depth, leading to a frustrating experience as you struggle to concoct better mutants. A timer ticking away in the background serves to punish rather than excite, penalizing players for investing too much time in exploration and experimentation. So, to wrap it up, Creature Lab, despite its promising premise, falls short of delivering a truly engaging and immersive experience. It has its flashes of unique brilliance, but is let down by menu-heavy gameplay, lack of visual narrative, and an underwhelming sense of player achievement. There's potential here for a truly great game with this concept, perhaps in an RTS or base building format, where homemade monsters serve as your units. But as it stands, Creature Lab ultimately feels like a missed opportunity. That's it for today's review, veteran gamers. As always, keep your gaming spirits high and your expectations in check. Game on!